Few subjects test the photographer's mettle more than birds. They're difficult to approach, fly to places people can't reach, and some species are incredibly rare. But Liang Jiede has mastered the art of avian photography. Over two decades, he has avoided poisonous snakes and insects while battling bitter cold and scorching heat, all to capture birds on film. We give you our Sunday in-depth report. In March 2004, a black eagle was recorded for the first time in Taiwan when a nest was located in the virgin forest in the Fushan Botanical Garden. The eagle has the largest wingspan of any bird of prey on the island. Eight years later, a research team attempted to reenact this discovery and turn it into a documentary film. The filmmakers needed to climb high into the trees to capture these images. This duty was given to Liang Jie De, who has 21 years of experience filming wildlife. As darkness envelops Orchid Island, silence sets in. But in the background, the special bird thrives. The Yami indigenous people call it Dudu U, while others refer to it as the Lanuscops owl. Liang was just 25 years old when he started working as a photographer. Little did he know he would spend the next seven years studying and filming the nocturnal Lanuscops owl. He soon became accustomed to climbing trees in the middle of the night to film wildlife. At the time we were using 16 millimeter film which needs a little bit of light. So he tried many techniques to film these owls. His efforts were eventually rewarded. After spending three years filming the story of the Lanuscops owl, Liang's work became a best documentary finalist in the 1995 Golden Horse Awards. In 1996, it was honored by the International Wildlife Film Festival in Montana in the U.S. These accolades have led Liang to abandon his work as a research assistant after nearly a decade. He dedicated himself entirely to nature photography. Yangming Shan National Park is located in the northernmost part of Taiwan's Da Twin Mountains. It is also a common dwelling place for birds of prey, such as the crested serpent eagle and Bezra sparrowhawk. Birds of prey are a challenge because it's harder to get close to them than other birds, and they're relatively few in number. For eagles, we need to spend more time waiting for them from above. Whether it is flying in the sky, soaring, rolling over, diving, or attacking prey, Liang has photographed all of these actions. After three years of filming, Liang produced his second film, Grass Mountain Eagles. Following its premiere in 1997, it won awards both at home and abroad. Birds have a lot of different behaviors at different times, so if I didn't catch something this year, I may have to wait until next year. There are some things you can't control, and if you didn't film it, you have to wait and then wait some more. In fact, I'm always waiting. One has to be patient and try not to destroy the original environment. This is how Liang creates nature films. Looking back, he believes his favorite film is one of the pheasant fail jacana. Once in a wetland, I saw a pair of jacana nests. There was a male jacana with two chicks in front about 100 or 200 meters away. And then the father immediately rushed back to the nest. I thought to myself that a chick could be hatching, but I wasn't sure. I knew if I could successfully film it, it would be quite special. In the spring of 1995, a group of very rare birds was spotted in Tainan. At first I went because I knew they were planning to build the high-speed rail there. 
I was filming in a village around Guantian Township. The Wild Bird Federation also wanted to use this film to promote the area to everyone in Taiwan because the jacana is very rare. We wanted to find a way to protect it. In 1997, Liang accepted a commission from the Chinese Wild Bird Federation to start filming fairies on the pond. He was recording species that would soon no longer exist. In the summer of 2000, Liang visited an uninhabited island off Mazu and discovered an almost extinct species, the Chinese crested tern. His findings shocked bird watchers around the world. When I filmed this, I was getting seasick on the boat. I vomited over the side but gradually became more comfortable. When adjusting the light, I noticed one bird was different. I sought more information but couldn't find any. Liang was the first person to spot the Chinese crested tern in Taiwan, along with four other bird species. He says he is simply a bird lover and wants to make a complete record of Taiwan's ecology. His dream in life is to soar into the heavens alongside a black eagle.